The unaccompanied children program in the United States is the program that um, provides services when children arrive at the border who are unauthorized. These are principally children from Central American countries, though they can be from other parts of the world. Um, children who arrive without a parent, and when they arrive, um, they go into a system of shelters where they get services and there are efforts made to determine if they have a parent or relative or family friend they can live with while they're in the country and awaiting immigration proceedings. In the United States, um, the, the program is funded by government, but the services are typically provided by nonprofit organizations that operate the shelters and work with the children. And the shelters are typically entities that have significant experience in child welfare and in working with the arriving children. There are lots of issues in how government and non-governmental organizations best work together. Um, challenges about trying to determine the number of shelters that need to be in place, the number of children to be prepared for, the costs that will be involved, how to ensure the quality of services, how government can monitor to know what it is receiving, and how government can get good feedback from the shelters as to what's working well and what's not working well. So it's a ongoing relationship. The relationship has been challenged this year because while the original purpose has been to provide services for unaccompanied children, the Trump administration has used the shelters to place children in when they were separated from their parents under the family separation policies. This has, in addition to being enormously hard for the children and their parents, it has also imposed tremendous challenges on the shelters because they have been asked to provide services which are really fundamentally antithetical to their missions. And it's raised a lot of difficult questions for everyone about what happens when non-governmental organizations um, are uh, asked to provide services which are very, very different than their core mission. There are many ways that the system could be improved if there was more money available to do so. Um, uh, there are the, there's a clear need to expand legal services for children um, particularly after they leave shelters. There's a clear need to expand the follow-up services that are available again after children leave shelters. For the shelters themselves, there's a constant process of trying to adjust and strike a balance um, that in order to ensure that children can be promptly released but into settings which are safe and appropriate. One of the other big challenges in the United States right now is that this was a structure of services which was really designed around helping children and helping them reunify with parents and relatives. It's increasingly been seen as connected with immigration enforcement and there are a big set of challenges about how to ensure that it is strictly separated from immigration enforcement so that it is restored to its original vision of being a structure of services and supports for children and families.